Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on September 12th, 2024. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet. Welcome to a jam-packed information session here. Looking at space weather, of course, earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Starting out here looking at our sun for the past two days. As all of a sudden over the past 12 hours has gone completely bonkers. We've seen multiple M-class solar flares and an X-class solar flare. Geomagnetic event brought up into level 3 geomagnetic storms. Looking the last 48 hours incoming. A couple sizable sunspot regions turning in. Big plasma prominence associated with those. And just recently M-class solar flare from that sunspot region outgoing this is where we will see another one of the m-class solar flares that shot out throughout the day today having a look at the last 48 hours pointing out large plasma filament in the south polar region earth facing activities there coronal mass ejections which we are going through right now solar storm impacts are prevalent right now Almost 600 kilometers per second solar winds. And here we are pointing out the X-class solar flare and as well M-class solar flares that occurred today. All Earth-facing activity instantly putting us into solar radiation storms and as well radio blackouts. But these two culprits right here, coronal hole regions, both the north and south, are helping to feed our geomagnetic event right now as our solar winds, as I said, are just under 600 kilometers per second right now. Another light here, blackened, darkened regions, coronal holes, which do increase our solar wind speeds when they are earth facing. Another light here as we have eight sunspot regions. Most of them are turning away and grouped in the southern region. But there is the most recent flare events and the eight sunspot regions. Having a look at these regions in motion, fluid motion for solar cycle 25, putting on quite a show. Current space weather conditions are three strong radio blackout impacts expected as well. G3 level three geomagnetic storm impacts from this most recent solar event. Voltage corrections may be required, false alarms triggered or some protection devices. Solar winds you can see here 568 kilometers per second. Solar X-ray flux spiking throughout the day one x-class solar flare and three pretty strong m-class solar flares solar proton flux stagnant in a low range geomagnetic activity hopping up to a kp7 so that's a level three ispa space prediction spiral showing here part of our most recent solar event that we're going through the solar winds are hitting us right now, but this is expected to hit us tonight. So look up if you are in northern parts of Canada and you have clear skies. There is a slight chance to see some northern lights, aurora borealis, but more likely in Europe and Russia throughout the night. This was based prediction spiral on not showing any new coronal mass ejections. Having a look at our planet here, this is... Earth's magnetosphere, our shield. This is showing the pressure planes. This is the amount of pressure that is on our planet right now, and we are under immense amount of pressure. And each time we get pressure like this and space weather events affecting our planet, earthquakes tend to be prevalent and increase. Having a look here at the solar wind speeds, darker the red, the faster the wind speeds. We did get over 600 kilometers per second. But right now, just over 550 kilometers per second, which is still about a million miles per hour. Looking at the Aurora forecast, probability of Aurora for tonight throughout Canada is pretty low. Right to the border. Overnight, you'll see a 30% chance. 
but then look over Russia, parts of Northern Europe, Greenland and Iceland, you will be lit up tonight by this latest geomagnetic event. Here is the Aurora view line for tonight and tomorrow. Red line there, stretching down to as far as southern Ontario. Parts of central Ontario and northern Ontario most likely will see some northern lights. So look up, my friends and family, and take all these energies in for free. Having a look at the Lasco 2, there is our most recent large CMEs taking off on the 9th of September. Another halo CME there. And plasma filament eruption from the south. But here on to the 12th, no new coronal mass, mass ejections and nothing else to point out. Sometimes we do get to see some sun diving comets, in which I pointed out from yesterday's show or the night prior, I'm not sure. But let's get to earthquakes here the last 24 hours as we are up and over 200. So slightly above average, a couple of very deep earthquakes here in Fiji region. 4.4 magnitude earthquake, 602 kilometer depth. That was last night. And then today, 593 kilometer depth more north towards New Caledonia. 4.7 here, Kermitic Trench. Going to be keeping an eye on this region here. All throughout the southwest Pacific Ring of Fire right now. 4.6 earthquake, Papua New Guinea, Madang. And then all of a sudden quiet through Indonesia. Up into the Philippines plate, it seems a little bit quiet. But then interesting earthquakes here, right by the Urta Ale volcano, Saudi Arabia, 4.9, ranging from 4.4 to 4.9. Four earthquakes being reported there. Pretty rare place for earthquakes. Quiet through South American plate. Notable earthquake here, 4.8, Colombia. Sizable 4.0 magnitude reported here. Brennis, Puerto Rico, northern part of the island. And then Malibu, California, 4.7 earthquake ringing off today. Multiple aftershocks through the region, looking at about 23 earthquakes at Malibu right now. And that's not off the coast. This is on the coastline. USGS is reporting 255 earthquakes the past 24 hours 130 of them across California, 28 of them being here at Malibu, California. Largest being a 4.7 magnitude. You can see this is a pretty heavily populated coastal region. Most likely did and still are feeling these earthquakes. So heads up, my friends and family. Please share this channel with your friends and family who might be interested in this information. Staying aware and prepared all around these fault lines. A lot of information packed to these videos. I hope you enjoy them. And please don't forget to give a thumbs up. That really helps the channel grow and as well helps the video grow to more people. Keeping humanity aware and prepared. This is the last seven days for Shakers around the world. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for all of the love and support to the channel. Appreciate the memberships. All of the love and information shared in live streams. You live in an earthquake prone zone, please be ready and stay tuned for daily updates here with daily events worldwide. Interesting activity, Malibu, California. Quick browse here at weather as not much has changed in the weather forecast. No new cyclones or typhoons, hurricanes developing affecting land. We do have tropical depressions here, three of them across the central Atlantic. Invest area number four, 94. And then we've got tropical depression Francine, who's over made landfall over New Orleans last night. We've also got Liana, tropical depression Liana. Pacific cyclone looks like it will be heading northward, forecast right up into the Gulf of California. Tropical system over here in the West Pacific. This is Tropical Storm Babinka. 
and it looks like it will be making a Category 3 landfall, Shanghai, China. So stay tuned for forecast models coming up tomorrow. If you want the most recent five-day forecast, check out last night's video as I did give full seven-day forecast. Again, much love, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe and healthy out there, aware and prepared. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.